nip off. Here we go. North, rain falls over Bayou Sorrel, and Willie Edwards is on a mission to finish the hunt he started yesterday. Yeah, we're back here right now, sitting on a big alligator. He took my hook and everything, and I want my hook back. We got a big one. Rope going. Oh, he lost it. Took the whole thing and everything. God, like tore my hand off. I've been fishing alligators right at 20, 20 some years. And I never had one take a hook from me like this. It takes a big one to pull the rope out of my hand. Today, Willie will use a lifetime of experience on the swamp to track down this crafty predator. I know just about this whole basin, just about anywhere around here, I know it. And they got holes off in the woods that people don't know about, that I know about, and it's good alligator hunting. If I can't catch nothing around my hooks or catching anything on my hooks, I'll go to them hoes. And it's hard getting back in there. You got to jump a couple of dikes and all that and everything, but it pays off once you get back down. Just a little hole right here. You can see where his toenail mark touched that bank right there. See right there? That's just three toes where he come up there and just grab the side of the bank like that. You right over there? You right here? Nearby. And I'm gonna try to go back here and catch him. But to get to the pond where Willie thinks his prize is lurking, he needs to navigate this 10-foot stretch of land. I think I could put some sticks down on the ground right there. I think it should be able to run right on over in there. This veteran swamper's got a plan. He's gonna build a ramp and jump it. You just gotta put enough stuff down here on the ground. I can slide right on over in there. Sure looks promising. Here we go. His path now free and clear. Willie sets out to catch the elusive beast that stole his hook and line. I'm just hoping we can find him. I don't like losing a big gator like that. Frog Lake didn't pay off, so I just went in this other hole that I knew about and nobody else knows about it. And it's one little hole, it ain't very big, but it's good enough to hold a couple big alligators. And we're hoping it pays off. by yourself is dangerous. And once you get him hooked right and everything, and you get him up, let him tire out, you can handle him. But if you don't know what you're doing with him in the first couple minutes, you got a lot of things can go wrong real quick. Waiting on him to pop his head up so I can shoot him. Him. That's what I'm talking about. It isn't the beast Willie's been looking for. 
but this eight-footer will bring in over $200. It's just been a slow day today, but I'm pretty happy what we got. Pretty good size. Big one, he ain't come up yet, or he's in the bushes somewhere he's hiding. It ain't over with by a long shot. We're gonna try. That's all we can do. I ain't giving up on it yet. Just have to keep riding around and wait for him to come out, pop his head up. It's like a needle in a haystack. Oh, boy, boy. In addition to using his treble hook to catch gators, Willie has also set some lines. Oh, yeah, I think there's hook down right over here. Let's see what we got on this hook. By about time we get one down. I think I seen a jerk. Might have something on there. I see it's black underneath the water right there. We got a big one on this thing. Oh, he got that rope frizzed up. It's almost popped. If that string breaks, he is gone. Can't afford that. That's a big one. Oh, boy. Whoa, boy. Willie thinks he's finally hooked the gator that stole his treble hook. But the weight of the monster is splitting his line. If that string breaks, he is gone. Catch him again. We're gonna ease him back up here and see if we can't finish him off. Fun part now, loading this big old thing. As he wrestles the 250 pounder into the boat, Willie realizes it's not the behemoth he's been after. I don't see my other trouble in his tail. But for his last tag of the season, Willie's glad to have caught a gator worth over $300. I'm wanting to catch this alligator so bad, I had my hopes up. I mean, I knew, I'm pretty sure I thought I was going to catch him. Oh, that's a good 11-footer. We'll take him. That's a good one. I didn't think he was gonna be that big, that long. You couldn't ask for a better time to catch the big alligator and get it done with. The alley size alligators I got with the land on is just gonna look perfect. I mean, I'll wind up getting more tags next year just because of these alligators. I'm hoping for the best. And I'm hoping the land owners look at it and see that I'm out here to fill tags and put big gators on them. <laughs> 